to try something new today. Um, what I did before going to the store was I went to the Arizona Lottery's website. And on the website, you can look up the individual scratchers and you can find out how many top prizes are remaining and such. So I did a review of all the, the $10 tickets that they had out there. And there's about 10 of them or so. Um, and I was checking to see how many of the top prizes um, in most cases, they're, they, the top prize is $100,000. Um, actually, in this case, I think all the cases, it's $100,000. Uh, <clears> and then I checked the you know second and third place prizes and such. What I noticed was that this particular game, Hit It Big, has been out for about three months now. Um, and it has more prizes if you look at you know the top prize, second, third, and fourth. If you look at the the prize is $500 and more. It actually has the best mix of those left, especially given how long the game's been out. So what I did was I went and I bought five of these games. It's not a game that I normally would purchase, but I'm trying something new. Let's see if I can use the data to help me win. So anyway, it's a pretty simple game. Um, you match the winning numbers across the top, any of your numbers down below and win the prize. And then there are five uh, bonus prizes down below if you receive a a hit symbol, you win the prize for that game. So anyway, let's give it a shot. We'll see how we do. And let's see if this uh, data-driven model does anything for us. 37, 14, 16, 33. About a week ago, I had a really nice hit, 24, um, on a $30 scratch ticket, uh, 100X. So if you're interested, you can go watch that video as well. That's it's one of those I only get a hit like that like once a year seems like so love to get hits like that more often but uh, anyway that was pretty exciting so go watch that video 39 47 32 50 not really the one thing that bugs me about this particular game and I'm not you know I'm sure it's just a design element but they have everything's at an angle um, I like them when it's straight across because it's easier to know where you're scratching, but that's fine. 41, no. One, no. That was from memory. 25, no. 46, no. And 26, no. Okay, I'm not going to scratch the... The prizes down below only for a couple reasons the few times that i've played this game um in the three months it's been out i've never once had a winner down there second is it gets you know i'd have to keep moving up and down on the games so if i do end up having a winner in any of those i will make sure i put it in the comments of the video okay next game 38 1 25 16 15 i'm also going to try and include at the beginning of this video, hopefully you've already seen it, but a screenshot of the Arizona Lottery website where I looked up and made my determination of which game I should buy. Hopefully it wasn't a waste of time. Because, <laughs> you know, if I was going to have a losing round, I can I can rely on my own instincts to have losers. But we'll see. Alright. Okay, four, nope. 26. Okay, both of my scratch tickets so far have had 26 winning number and neither one has had it as one of my numbers. 19, nope. Three, nope. One and two, but no three. And five, no. Okay, O for two. Third ticket, 30. 23, 8, 14, 49. And if you guys notice when you see the, the remaining prizes in the screenshot that I provided, um, you'll notice that the second place prize, which is $10,000, there are only 2 out of 12 of those left. So that, of course, is not good, odds-wise. Um, but again, I was looking at the 100,000, the 10,000, the 1,000, and the 500, looking at them as a collective. So just, 
just wanted you to know that. All right, let's see. 42. Nope. 29. Okay. 12. Nope. 38. I got a 30 and I have an 8, but I don't have them together. I got a 48. And lastly, 44. No. Okay, so it's 0 for 3. Again, without scratching those bonus numbers, but we'll see. Actually, what I'll do is uh, if by chance any of these ends up with the, the bonus number actually wins something, um, I'll just turn the camera back on and just show you that. Just so you know that I'm not making something up to sound like I'm luckier than I am. Because trust me, I <laughs> more often than not, the answer is nope, not lucky. Weird. 18, 23, 18. And something I say a lot when I'm playing these games is historically, as far as I believe, if you have the same number down below in your numbers, you're going to have a winning ticket. Uh, that holds true for all of the Arizona Lottery games that I've ever played except for games that are based off of a deck of cards. Um, for some reason, that particular, uh, when you have that on the lottery ticket, for some reason, the rules are different for that. And don't really know what that reason is. All right, this is not looking good. This is, I only have one more ticket to scratch, and so far, I am 0 for 4. Not good at all, so down 40 bucks. So my data-driven model to this point basically sucks let's see last chance here again like i said i will scratch those bonus numbers after the fact let's see now i need a 50 dollar winner just to break even it's a 5x win on this game which is tough on the best of occasions but i need 5x just literally to put the same amount of money back in my pocket that's not how you should play lottery games you should end up with a lot more money in your pocket. At least that's the way you should want it to be. Okay, 19, 38, 44, 49. All right, let's see if uh, if my plan this time was worth it or not. And if it's not, at least I went through this instead of you guys. 19. Not really a bright side for me, but it might be a bright side for you. <laughs> 43, 45, nope, 39, all right, and last chance on the regular, 50, 30, and 20, and 40, and no 50. So, hit it big, $10 ticket, five tickets in, $50 spent, $0 out. That, uh, yeah, that sucked. Um, anyway, I... You know, wanted to try something new and it just did not work in my favor. Hopefully you guys will be more lucky than I am. Have a good day.